channel. So at the moment, I'm gonna get rid of, okay, I've just put my other gloves which have turned out great, but I thought I'd reuse these other ones. Um, so this is a bottle, like a green deep, um, and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it as a base coat. You're probably thinking, yuck. But this will look really, really nice if all goes to plan. And if it all doesn't go to plan, I'm going to show you anyway, so just to show you that we all have failures. We absolutely do all have failures. So I'm going to use my spatula thing instead of, I've gone and bent it because I used it to try and open something very naughty of me. use this what I'm pouring on is a um, recycled card which I get from eBay um, it's I think that one's 750 or 800 GCM that's the weight the the thicker you get the better if you order the thickest one you can because then they won't um, they won't uh, bend or go you know uh, warped when they're dry so and then at the bottom of this video, there's a little drop down box um, and it will have my pouring medium recipe there and my Australian suppliers for my uh, product. I'm going to do a centre swipe out. So I'll just do the effect like this, but as you all know, it turns out different every single time. Look at this pink against that green oh my goodness that is super cool super cool candy cool all of my paints are always mixed at least 24 hours and definitely longer and I cover them with a tea towel or um, what did the US people tell me it was a dish towel no a oh I can't remember look see I'm losing it I've got cracking up anyway cover it with a damp cloth there you go that covers it so this is the lilac in blue which is a lovely lovely blue so go in all these kind of candy candy land colors but it's got that deep um, green at the back which will change everything <laughs> believe me no she's putting in the mix some Lemon, lemon. Crazy woman. Crazy colour lady. I have so many people say, oh, watch you put those colours down, and I cringe, think, what is she doing? But every time, the end result is, but not every time, but it uh, works out all good in the end. So they all seem to end up marrying nicely. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> that happened every time. Okay. I think my dry my rack that I'm painting on has seen better days. It's absolutely full of paint and I'm trying to keep it linear looking for the time being. That could go way off too. Um, I'm just wondering, I'll put a bit of white in here, yes hubby's just had to, I've pinched, I've pinched your um, cable, <laughs> I've pinched his electric cable, I've plugged my thing into it in the minute, there's another one over there darling, oh yeah you could use that. Right, from this point, you're gonna say what colors you're gonna swipe with. Now, do I? I'm going to go navy. One side navy. Gonna do me split, one side navy. And I will do the other side purple, but I'll do the navy side first. Okay, so I was gonna use my swift 
this white tool, but I'm going to use this. I do love my new Swifty Swipe. To find a manufacturer that will um, make them for us, but they're easily made uh, at home yourself. But um, people that do, do like to just have, don't have the time, um, just like to paint for their downtime and like the tools ready to go. So. I'm just going to see what the cells come up like with that uh, navy. Might be you, you, a stunner. Ooh, ooh. Then you think, hey, could you possibly go wrong with. Ooh, look at those cells this week. I think it's that um, Montmartre uh, metallic paint. It's giving these tiny little cells like bubbles, and they're absolutely gorgeous love them i'm gonna do the other side with the purple believe it or not i surely am i'm gonna go i'm gonna do the purple swipe and that's way too much paint guys way too much it wasn't concentrating sorry just let your folder divider file divider just drop in first couple of oh missed a great big pile there I'm just wiping it off in between swipes. That's absolutely fine. Don't stress over miss bits because that, that's going to all be um, changed as we go along. I mean, how, like, it's such a good lesson. Oh, look, see that fly? Oh my goodness, Talia, every time. Um, it's a good lesson to show you that you can put exactly the same colors down and get a completely different result thrown right out by your swipe color. And that's perfect example. So I'm gonna, my butane torch, I'm gonna just wave it over. I do love those little cells that are coming up and the only thing I can think of okay I am back but it's only been about 15 minutes and I just wanted to try something because if it fails I can do something else but I've got a tub of paint here left and I've got some string so I can guess that you're guessing what's going to go on here I'm going to do some, oh, okay. And all my paint gets, all my string gets miggled up, muggled up, okay. So I'm going to, in this purpley part, <laughs> scary, isn't it? OMG, she said. What am I going to get out of this? Probably a big muddy mess. But if it is, then it'll be plan C again, A, B, C. So we'll just see what we get. Way too much paint. If I'd have left it to dry, maybe. I need to leave it to dry. See how much paint's in that? way too much but see there's just so much thick paint there it does go, give a pretty effect you can see how nice that would be if there wasn't as much paint in that so plan so, so I've done plan A I might I'm just going to try this and then I'll leave, leave it alone again and come back. I'm just going to try the roll in the balloon which creates a similar, 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 similar effect with the roll starting and give it an S bend. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, look at that. Look at that. Oh, actually I, I think I might leave those in there. That gives a nice... Uh, it 
it's way, yeah, that's not dry enough yet to play, but I will, I will be back with my string and my pulling through some of this because it's got the greeny vibe going, it's got the, the planty thing, flowery thing going, so I might come back when it's a little bit drier and um, play with it some more. Play with it some more, so hang in there with me, I'll be back. Okay, back again, give it another go. Um, yeah, it's been well over half an hour now. The paint, I'd say, is still probably way too wet and thick to do much with it. But I'll try one more time with the string. I'm gonna give it a go with the string. So I'm going to try a different area. Okay, that's be right, wouldn't it? I'm gonna pull. So I've just dipped oh, dipped the paint in the bright yellow and I'm going to see what it brings me. Not overly excited with that, but it's given a nice effect through it, hasn't it? Got one more stringy thing. Give a try. Try a bigger one. I'll try it right from the top. Okay. See, my paint is definitely, definitely too thick. It's too much paint to do a string pull like this successfully. Way, way, way too much wet paint in there. If you were doing a string pull, it would uh, not require as much paint. Still looks pretty, it does look pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, but I'll go back and I'll bring my trusty balloon into the mix as see what we can come up with. Oh yeah, my husband's out there doing um, welding. Okay, one more down. Wow. Always brings up something gorgeous. I, I like these bits of yellow in there, so I, I'm not going to go over them, but I'm just going to create a little bit more movement in these areas where there's lots of cells. I'm going to give it a bit of a balloon roll around there. It certainly looks very um, floral. I suppose it's more so the colours in it. It's like an S movement with the balloon. That There's plenty of paint on this so it will fall back in. Do you know what? I love these cells. They're tiny, they're nice. Just, um... Sorry about that. Can't help himself, can he? <laughs> I said, I'm going in to finish the video off. Just give me five minutes. Boys and their toys. Okay, I am actually going to leave it at that. I quite like that. And it's got a bit of interest in there. It looks kind of uh, whimsical. Fantasia, whimsical kind of effect in there. I'll try and bring you up a little bit closer. Look at that. Maybe if I was showing it the other way around. But yeah, it sort of looks certainly like florally garden of some description, but I'm going to call it quits because that is quite nice. It's got a few different effects in there. Um, and I like it. But thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. 
If you haven't already, please, please, please press the subscribe button. It's free. Um, and yeah, more than anything, make sure you uh, join me in my art journey and watch my videos. Thank you.